your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's imperialism. What up? March 30th, 2020. You know, why does it seem as if the corporation of America is making up the narrative of this, this virus scenario as they go? It's like they're making this shit up as they go along. And it kind of makes no sense to me. And uh, the corporation of America owes the citizens more than just, oh, we'll throw some money at you. Um, stay home. Stay six feet apart from each other. You know, just things that you would say to children in the school. <clears throat> or your own kids are just little demands that you would give to adolescents. You know, as if we have no no leadership, as if we have no representation, as if we don't. Because, uh, unfortunately, within the, uh, the corporate realm um, here, in the American uh, societal system, I should just say the American corporate society, we have uh, no human resources department. We have no uh, union representatives. We have no one to speak the peace of the people to the ears above. So we just basically sit here and look at the TV, listen to the radio. Well, I don't know who listens to the radio anymore, but yeah. TV, radio, whatever, social media. Um, and mainstream media has a stranglehold on social media. So a lot of the things that you can get from social media that might be within the realm of truth um, might be uh, prudent information. Uh, you just might not get, or it might just be saturated with a bunch of other propaganda so you can't really see it. Um, it's a lot, it's a shame. But anyway, once again, we have no rep representation. Uh, society needs a union so we can actually speak to uh, the ones above, uh, politicians, senators, um, anybody within the realm of politics, poll tricks. <laughs> uh, they're not going to do anything for you. They're, they basically are, just like the union in a regular company, works for the company, not for you. So all those different you know, forms and bureaus that they put in place for, I guess, for the people to think that they actually have a connection to the ears above, uh, they really don't. It's basically just, you know, mouthpieces that, you know, relay some of the talking points of, of society. Um, these are your senators. These, these are your, 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 the mayors. These are, these are the local politicians, you know, the little council members that just basically are mouthpieces for the ones who basically control the system. So they're never gonna do anything for you. They're only gonna do things for special interests in themselves. So, you know, what you need is representation within, uh, within society. Uh, you have to stop being collectively hypnotized into thinking that uh, everyone needs to be uh, separate. Uh, their thoughts, their, their ideas, their emotions, their uh, outlook on, on you know, life and, and society as a whole, uh, the things that are going on around them. They need to have uh, separate perceptions when it comes to these things, which is detrimental to any, uh, any form of structure within society, um, an and independent society. Uh, you cannot have that kind of separation. Uh, you know, as per the art of war, uh, you want to uh, obviously divide your conflict. Uh, into, you know, obviously sections that you can basically infiltrate and uh, crumble uh, individually, which basically <clears throat> puts demise on the whole. Pardon me. So, unfortunately, we are being herded into... Uh, the agended idea, which is basically to create millions of jack-in-the-boxes, meaning uh, you're going 
to have your robotic life confined into a specific area, cubicle. You've seen the format for our society, little clues and hints onto the structure of the beehive uh, element they want to place onto society. You've seen little clues and hints, but because of the separation within concepts, uh, no one could come together and say, okay, do you see the bigger picture that we see that they're hanging on the wall? Um, so we weren't able to do that. So now, what's basically coming down to is the beehive structure, where you have um, a bunch of individuals contained in individual boxes, contained in a box. So, and those individual boxes are basically going to power the system structure of automation from the very box without moving, without even having to lift a finger. You know, who cares if muscles go through atrophy and all that stuff? Who cares? You know, I mean, who cares that, you know, you're going to wither away and turn into nothing physically and really mentally because your humanity will be stripped from you because of the, the practice that you're going to be you know, obviously an undertaking which is isolation, separation, and just being used for exhaust. Like, you have to be placed somewhere. They can't keep everybody. I can't say it enough. They cannot keep everybody. There's not room in the structure of business Capitalism, classism, these are their ideas. There's no room for everybody. The ones that have been chewed up and now they're going to spit them out and shit them out, they're going to be in those little cubes. You're going to be stuck there with your little video game, with your little, you know, whatever it is that you're going to have, your, your, your video game and your Peloton, and, you know, your, your manufactured, recycled, processed food product. And that's what you're going to be. That's what you're going to, you know, that's what your life is going to end up being. You're going to be stuck in a box, literally. And the funny thing is, you know, if you look at the pattern of, you know, society throughout the different decades, you can see at some point, they broadened your horizons by giving you the robots. But you travel out and, you know, explore different places independently. So broadened your world. They broadened your world. And then now, as you see, just like a dying star, it swells up and then closes in on itself. And now your world is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Physical experience. But then they're taking your perceptions, your thoughts, and your, your ideas and imagination and consciousness as a whole, basically, and enslaving it and, and creating whatever they want by using your energy life force. And if you don't understand resources, or resource, or what is a resource, then you're going to fall for it. <clears throat> and we are going to have issues much more than we have faster than we are having them. So someone has to take the first step and say, okay, well, we need representation. We need a firm stance standing on uh, the needs and the desires and just the natural uh, process of being humans and what that entails and what we need in order to keep that process continuing without falling to the unnatural. Because that's what we are doing. We are falling to the unnatural. We are being deceived and consumed by the unnatural. And we go from here, 
is up to us. But until someone takes that step and says, look, no more cartoons. No more you dictating what we see and what we do and how we feel about what we're doing about what we're seeing. You know, we have to create the vision, then live that vision and hold that vision dear and true. Because manhood is at stake. So are you a man or are you a male? That's what it comes down to. How many men are there left? How many men want to protect their women and their children from tyranny and mental and physical slavery? Do you even know what it is to live? 